This video is going to be a brief introduction for our National 147 Upgrade Kit. This kit is designed to fit in models 147 and 148 National. The controller upgrade will also fit in some of the older combo snack machines that did use that were based on the 147 controller. So let's just take a quick look at the board and go around the connectors pertaining to a 147-148 install. At the bottom of the board at J57, that's going to be the pulse validator coming from your machine. If you intend to use the 110 volt bill acceptor, just plug the cable into J57 on the controller and make sure switch 7 is turned on and 8 is turned off. J4 is MDB. We provide an MDB extension cable in the kit. Gives you about an 18 inch extension. If you need to use that cable, you're more than welcome. To the left of MDB, you have your display header. There is a display cable, part number 110194-21. That cable is unique, it's keyed. The keyed side will plug directly to the display. Here's the display where you see pin 3 missing. And you're just going to go ahead and plug in the display cable. And then the opposite end will plug at the bottom of the board right down there. J2 display. The keypad is going to be the standard selection keypad in the machine, the alphanumeric keypad. The service mode keypad is no longer used with the new upgrade kit. You can leave it in you can leave it intact or you can remove it from the machine. On the left side of the board we have our motor headers. And there's a three-part motor header in the national. There are three connectors all in line. They shouldn't fit in multiple directions. There's a large one, a large one, then a smaller one. And I don't think you can mix mix those up. And then to the right of the snack motors is your gum and mint motors right here at that white header. At the top of the board we have incoming power. It's typically going to be a brown, yellow, and orange wire. It's going to be attached to the pullout tray. Just plug it into the board for incoming power. It's J55. And J3 is a drop sensor connection. J5 at the top is going to be DEX. We do include a nice DEX bracket that you can remote mount. It's a pretty nice bracket. You could just screw that to the side of the pull-out tray. And then finally, the last connection is going to be J56, which is the coin changer connection. It says 147-148 coin mech. And then the bill validator is J57, 148, 148, uh, 147, 148 bill validator. And then J13 is where you could use the optional bill acceptor cable. Right there. That'll plug to the board. The opposite end will plug to your validator, to the side of the 30 pin. And make sure 7 is on and 8 off for short pulse. There's one last um, topic I want to cover, one, one additional cable in the kit, and that's the 110223-21. And this is a power supply modification cable, which will increase the 24 volt available to everything in the machine, motors, changers, validators, card readers, because the original machine was really a 110 volt base machine. It used 110 volt payment devices. And now in 2023, everything is, is pretty much MDB. And this is a quick fix to boost the available power. And what you're going to do is you're going to remove the power supply from in front of the cabinet. There are instructions in the kit box that shows you how to do that. And then there are two connectors, J72 and J73, that plug to the power supply board. You're going to remove those permanently. They never get attached again to the power supply board. And then the 7-pin connector end will plug into J73. And the 4-pin connector end will plug into J72. 
and this will this will increase your 24 volt output so everything uh, works correctly together some some examples of weak power will include sort of flaky operation of the machine you'll you might have a credit frozen on the display you hit a selection nothing happens um, it's having a difficult time taking money card reader might not be working and so just keep that in mind if you're doing a, a full-blown 147 upgrade I just like to leave the 6,000 changer and a 2501 validator intact I don't even replace them and then just install a card reader and that way you don't have to worry about doing the power supply mod if you're running one MDB device you should be okay if you're going to be running MDB changers, validators, and card readers, you're going to definitely need the power supply mod to keep the machine stable. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.